It might be that your cholesterol is too high and your doctor prescribed you rosavastatin, also known as Crestor. And in this video we will cover how and when to use it, what side effects it can cause, what dosages are useful and much much more. So make sure to watch the whole video so you don't miss any important information. For those of you meeting for the first time, my name is Raoul, I'm a medical doctor from the Netherlands and it's my mission to medically educate you, my viewer, because educated people make healthier decisions. But always remember, I'm just a random doctor from the internet, I know nothing about your personal situation, therefore always ask your doctor for personal advice. Let's get learning. So as mentioned, the generic name of this medication is rosuvastatin, and it's sold under the brand name Crestor and it's available as a tablet and a chewable tablet. Which brings us to how to use it. If you want to use it as a regular tablet, make sure to swallow it whole with half a glass of water. And if you want to use it as a chewable tablet, you can chew on the tablet until it's completely dissolved. In addition, it's best to take this medicine at fixed times. This will make you less likely to forget a dose. Now, rosuvastatin is part of a group of drugs called statins. They inhibit the enzyme HMG-CoA reductase, which normally plays an essential role in the synthesis of cholesterol in the liver. This lowers the circulating LDL, the total cholesterol, and increases HDL cholesterol. Therefore, rosuvastatin can be used to decrease cholesterol levels and cardiovascular risk. Which brings us to the correct dosages to use. And here I want to mention that you should only use the prescribed amount and frequency your doctor gave you. So your specific dose may depend on your indication of use, side effects you might experience, and severity of your indication. However, when treating adults, most doctors will start with an initial dose of 5 to 10 milligrams once per day, which if necessary can be doubled every four weeks up to a maximum dose of 40 milligrams once per day. Now, rosuvastatin is a very effective drug, but unfortunately it can also cause several side effects. I will list some of the most common ones in this video, but if you're looking for a complete list, always ask your doctor, your pharmacist, or check your leaflet. Commonly, it can cause abdominal pain, nausea, constipation, diabetes, and a headache. Uncommonly, it might cause a skin rash, itching, or urticaria. Rarely, it can cause changes in your blood values or edema, and very rarely, it can cause several severe side effects. Which brings us to the safety of use. And here it is important to mention that you can combine rosuvastatin with any type of food and you can drive safely while using rosuvastatin. However, be careful to combine it with alcohol as this might increase the side effects you might experience. Furthermore, rosuvastatin can be dangerous for pregnant women or for women which are breastfeeding. So please don't use it and always discuss this with your personal doctor. And lastly, rosuvastatin can have interactions with other drugs you're taking. Also discuss this with your personal doctor. Now I hope you know now how to use rosuvastatin, but if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section and I will do my best to answer each and every one of them. And for those of you that want to keep on learning, check out the playlist in the description with more awesome medical videos on cardiovascular disease or risks. Furthermore, I want to thank you all for watching. If you would click the like and subscribe button, it will help out the channel tremendously. You will help me reach my new subscriber milestone of 200,000 subscribers. Thank you all so much. I want to give a special thanks to my Patreon supporters as well. Thank you, Sebastian, who is an investor T supporter. And I will see you all next week with a new video. And if you can't get enough, check out the Instagram as well. I recently started posting again. I'm sorry it took so long at How to Medicate. See you there. I'll see you next week. Bye bye.